was law. Even those statues that they think are, are, are making money, they, 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 they may not be. I know the expectations of government is to the extent. You know, the government is cornered by debts. And as my brother Carlos was beginning to, to, to make his submissions, he said, we, only, we, we, we feel betrayed by our leaders. I think that there is also a book now in the offing which is like that, betrayed by my leader. Mm. Uh, in, the, in, the, in the luxurious and ostentatious spending, that is not objective for the, for, for the, <coughs> the common Ugandan. So now, given that debt burden, I think we are 97 trillion debt, 52.8 external, 44 something point something internal where government has borrowed from banks locally and also from external and which has got a cost we are paying interest and sometimes some of these debts it has been borrowed and it has not yet even been utilized but we are busy uh, servicing it so much as the, the, the I know now with all of this operation coming from all sides the government may want to expand the tax base including the churches which have been uh, sacred areas. <coughs> well, the church may be having finances, but it may not be all that luxury that they can be able to, that the area you can get money from. But I think some of these things have also been uh, brought about by our conduct. The way some of the men of God have acted, it has been painful where you are we have been referred to as merchants of christ we are we are trading on the gospel we are trading on miracles and yet when you go to even when the church was being founded in acts of the apostles there were <coughs> situations where people went running wanting to sacrifice to those of paul and say these are gods but they said we are not you we are just human beings like you and whoever wanted to act like a god was crushed like you remember the story of Herod in Acts chapter 12. So, it, the lifestyle of the, 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 some religious leaders that has uh, attracted this kind of uh, aggression to the extent of government thinking that they can, they can tax it. But it will not be sustainable. It will not be sustainable. You may get it once and then it dwindles because the church is people. <coughs> church is Christians. The church is people who come and pray in it, and if they are willing to offer to serve uh, for God's work, they can. And if they see that the the tax man has come, they can really hold it there, because now they know they are taxed in fuel, they are taxed in what, they are not even what they are putting here to 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 to, to serve God's ministry is also being. They can really hold, it. and that tax cannot be sustained. But, um, for example, Church of Uganda has businesses, and we have got under what we call a church commissioners. These are, this is the investment arm of the church. Even when it is being founded, it is founded as a corporate determined to make money, so susceptible to taxes. You can pay income tax, any tax, but all of those, there's a business wing of the church. If you look at, for example, the, the church house, the, 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 the occupants pay rent, so there is no <coughs> way the church can say exempt as we are a church. But the exemption can be there maybe for the time when you are yet paying the loan. It, 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 it can be, but when you stabilize now after servicing the facility that you made that business, you are susceptible to pay tax like any other investment. But this other uh, businesses even of the church down here like guest houses, they are almost operating like charities because every day you have a meeting. The Carlos is come to conduct their meeting. They don't think Carlos you are paying for the hall, no. paying for the chairs. So it is still continues to serve. They say that is how Christians will even say that is our hall. Why should we pay? So they are their support even from the church. Like Church of Uganda, we used to have a lot of friends in America and the UK. I was an accountant of the treasury in the, in the province. In fact, even doing a bank reconciliation, you have to do bank reconciliation weekly. If you wait up to the end of the month, you may get confused. Because of things were coming, people were tithing. From the states and the UK, they, they tithe. 
some, some are even anonymous. But money is coming. They really supported God's work here. But once Archbishop Henry Lukorombi refused to have Holy Communion with the Archbishop of Canterbury, uh, Rowan Williams in Tanzania, in the protest about their support for the consecration of a gay bishop in the U.S. I tell you, even if you did the banker reconciliation after three months, you can be smart. The money is disappeared. Because they said, okay, you have the Jesus, for us we have the check. So you have your Jesus, for us we have our money. So since 2008, Church of Uganda, for example, has, has, has parted friendship with so many. You've seen all of those successive archbishops have walked out of Lambeth. Rombi walked out. Uh, Archbishop Ntagali walked out. So that has not augured well with our friends in the, in the, in, in, in the US and the, uh, and the UK. So they are withdrawing of their help. Church of Uganda as an institution, it will not be new. Maybe Uganda as a country, maybe a government will be suffering those issues. But for us, we suffer. So no suspicion even can be that those people are now bringing money into the church. Uh, and now that they are not giving government, so the government wants to follow it and, and tax it. Nobody. 